we're losing so many of our natural reefs. So we need to start to think creatively about what are the resources that we already have that could contribute to the environment. Our mission at Blue Latitudes is to find areas of our oceans that deserve to be protected, but maybe they don't get the recognition that a lot of coral reefs do. Coral reefs protect the resources that we have on land, and we don't even really realize how important our oceans are. We work repurposing offshore oil and gas platforms as artificial reefs. Coral reefs, they've been around for millennia, but they're also very sensitive. Even one degree of temperature difference within the ocean can cause them to start to bleach and eventually die off. And when the coral goes, the fish go and other species that are associated with it. If you think about a forest, if you started losing all of our trees and all the species associated with them, you'd start to think to yourself, what's going on here? You know, the coral reefs really serve as the canary in the coal mine for our oceans. California's offshore oil and gas platforms are some of the most productive ecosystems on this planet. You know, an oil platform is not necessarily what you associate with a coral reef, but if it's working and it's special, there could be a way to preserve it and allow it to continue to thrive. The Rigs for Reefs program promotes, instead of completely removing the oil platform jacket, leaving it in place to continue to serve as an artificial reef. Every year, we do a few dives off the platforms here in California, and we try to capture the beauty of these platforms, the big schools of fish, the sea lions that come in and out, because that really communicates the story, and that really helps to illustrate what we're talking about when we say oil platforms as reefs. We have great conditions, it looks like. It's a beautiful oh day. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Do you see me? Yep. Wetsuit, check. If these structures were to be reefed, this area that we see up from the surface would be gone. What would be left is what we're about to dive on and what we're about to see below the surface. Every beam and crossbeam is covered in light. We see scallops, anemones, mussels, schools of fish. There's a lot of science that's been going on that they're studying these reefs, they're measuring the productivity of these reefs, um, and they're starting to really understand how important they are to the ecosystem because we do know that they're producing life. I think what inspires me is we truly believe in this program. And when you have a belief in something, you chase it down. Anytime we dive on any of the platforms, we think about what a shame it would be to lose it. We know what these reefs look like. We've dove on them, we've researched them, we understand the value of these, of these massive thriving reefs. So we're motivated to find a way to work with oil companies and legislators to preserve these structures. Rigs to reefs, it's save the oil platforms, it's not save the whales. So inherently it's, it's a challenge. But I think people are very willing to think outside the box. And when they see the videos, and when they see the photos, they start to believe. We do feel like we're making a difference and that's very fulfilling to have a purpose like that. If you can wake up every day and feel good about what you're doing and enjoy what you're doing and do it with your best friend, then it's really a win-win situation. The whole world is watching what California does. So if we can work with California to set an example that reefing is something that should be considered, we want to set that standard at an international level. So that's the big, big picture goal.